Hello everybody, let's get straight to it. In this video, I will be talking about the use of on-account payment method in your retail channels. <clears throat> there are two types of retail channels that we will cover in this video. The first one is call center and the second one is POS, point of sale. The first thing that we need to cover is payment methods. The payment methods are created under retail payment methods menu. It's uh, worth mentioning the payment methods that are created for retail use are different and independent from method of payments created in your accounts receivable and accounts payable module. As you can see from this view right here, each payment method has a default function. And what we are interested in is a default function that is called customer. So that is a payment method that is linked to on account payment and does require a customer on any retail transaction be it created from a call center or point of sale. The second part of our setup is to configure call center for me as the user. So let's just summarize. The call center allows you to create sales orders using Dynamics 365, but with additional controls, such as completion of payment, completion of order, upselling, cross-selling, and scripted selling. I will now navigate to call centers and all call centers, and I'm using the demo USRT company, and I have one retail uh, channel for Fabricom call center and I will make sure that I will add my user ID to the channel user list. So I'm gonna select my call center and I'm gonna click on channel users. I will click on new button and add my user ID to the list of channel users. Once that is done, now I can use the call center functionality to create a sales order. And the last setup that we will need to check is the setup on the customer record that either allows or disallows on account payments. For that, I will navigate to the customer list. I'm gonna to go to retail module and I'm gonna click on all customers and I'll show you two customers that are set up differently. The first customer is Eve Whitehead and I will open the, the customer card and navigate to payment defaults tab. And I see that allow on account chat box is set to no. That means that Eve is not allowed to pay on account. She needs to provide a payment method, be it cash, check, credit card, etc. And now I will show you another customer, Mara, right here, that is set up differently. So we're gonna open her customer card, navigate to payment defaults, and we can see that on account payments are allowed for Mara. Now let's test it. We're gonna create a sales order, and I will first create it for Eve. I'm gonna click new and I'm gonna select Eve, my customer here. I will add an item, 0103, and I'm gonna save the record. One of the differences that you will see for orders created through call center is that complete button right here, which is not available when you create a sales order without a call center functionality. When you click on complete, in order to complete an order now, I have to register a payment against it. And I'm gonna scroll down to the payments tab. I'm gonna click on add, and this, dialog box allows me to register a payment for the sales order. We see the total is 1856, so the payment method is expected to be 1856. I'm gonna click on drop down, and that list is familiar is because those are the payment methods that we reviewed that were set up in our retail module, not the ones that are set up in AR module. What's worth no noting here is that and there's payment method number three and there's payment method number five. There is no payment method number four, which is on account. And the reason being here is that Eve is not set up for on account payments. Therefore, this payment method, even though it's set up and available, it's not available for that customer. We can only select a non on account payment method to complete that order. So once you select it, then you can decide on percentage amount that you would like to pay with that payment method. You can say, entire amount of 1856. With payment method entered, the order is now complete. Now let's create a new sales order for Mara, the customer that has on account option turned on. I'm gonna select Mara, same product, save an order, complete. Now the same balance, 1794, click on add, and click on the payment method dropdown. As you can see, the customer account payment method is available for Mara because she was allowed to pay an account. So we can complete an order 
using on account payment method. All right, so let's summarize that. On account checkbox on the customer record allows you to control on account payment method for sales orders created through call center retail channel. In the second part of this video, we will see how on account payment method works on the point of sale register. On our point of sale register, we have button grids that contains all available payment methods. One of the payment methods that is available is called pay customer account. When we're going to right click on that button and going to go to the button properties, we see that the action linked to that button is called pay customer account. So this is a button that allows to pay for a sales order or for a cash and carry transaction on the POS register using customer on account. Unfortunately, for the point of sale as it stands right now, we cannot drive the availability of that payment method based on the customer setup. So if we select if or Mara at the point of sale, if that button is available, either of those customers would be able to pay on account. So we need to protect that payment method somehow so to only process it uh, for customers that should be allowed to pay on account. One of the ways you can do that, which is a workaround option, but again, with the, uh, that may work for in certain instances, is to protect the, this button or this operation, this action, based on managerial privileges. So let me show you how that is done. I will navigate to my point of sale operations, which shows you the list of all available actions that can be attached to buttons on your POS register. And in this list, I will go and I will search for something that's called account. So I can, I want to find my action that is called pay customer account, which is the same action that is linked to that button that I showed you pre previously. And I'm going to click on edit. And you can see right here, I protected this action, this operation based on managerial privileges. So only retail users with managerial privileges would be allowed to use that button. Now, how do you set up a user to be a manager or not? And that's something that is done through a worker setup for the re on the retail side. For that, I will navigate to the list of my retail stores and my demo on the point of sale will be done from Houston store. So I will find Houston store in the list and I will click on the worker list. So this is the list of workers that are set up to work in the Houston store. Uh, I will start the demo as myself, so I will find the list right here. So here's Alexi, and I will click on the POS permissions. And you can see right now I'm, I'm assigned to cashier point of sale permission group, which has manager privileges turned off. That means I'm not a manager, and hence I should not be able to use on account payment button. And another user that is set up as the manager is Melissa right here. I'm going to click on POS permissions. And you can see that Melissa is assigned to the POS permission group manager and she has manager privileges. All right, so we have Alexi, which is cashier, and we have Melissa, which is manager. Now I will go and I will log into my uh, cloud POS and I will use my uh, login Alexi. So I will log into the point of sale experience. This is in Houston store. This is demo navigation. I'm going to turn it off. So you can see that I'm logged in as Alexi here. I will create one transaction and I will add this item to our transaction. Now, in order for me to use the on account payment, I need to add a customer to it. So I'm clicking add a customer and let's say I would like to use E, add her to the transaction. So now I have Eve as a customer and I have my battle to the transaction and now I would like to use on account. So if says, she says, you know, I would like to pay on account, can I get walking away without giving a payment? So one of the first thing that I will do as a cashier, I will click on that on account button, which is that on account payment method. And right away, it's saying that I don't have enough privileges and I have to ask my manager to enter his or her operator ID and the password. So that's where I can just walk and ask Melissa to come in here. And Melissa comes in and she says, okay, so uh, should uh, Eve be allowed to be paid? And let's say she doesn't know if Eve is on account customer or not. So what is the most 
what is a way for her to verify that? One of the ways is to use the customer attributes, which I added one uh, to all the customers associated with that retail channel. So I'm gonna click on the customer card here. So I'm gonna open Eve's card. There's gonna be all sorts of information here, but if we scroll all the way to the right, one of the attributes that I've added is that on account customer, and it is set to no right now. So that's a flag for me as the manager to say that you should not be allowed to pay on account. Hence, you have to give us either cash or credit card to complete that transaction, right? So uh, Melissa checked that card and says, if you have to give us a payment method, you are not on account customer. So let me remove Eve now and let me add Mara now. So I'm gonna search for Mara in my customer list. Here she is, I'm gonna open her card. Right away, I can scroll to the right and I can see that on account customer attribute is set to yes. Please note that this attribute doesn't drive any functionality. It's only reporting field, it's only information uh, field, but nonetheless, this is one of the ways that you can differentiate your own account customers from uh, the others. So once I check that Mara is indeed an account customer, I can safely add her to the transaction. And again, it still doesn't cancel the fact that I have to be able, I have to be a manager to use the on account payment button. I'm going to click on that because I'm logged in as Alexi. I am not able to complete that transaction, even though Mara is an account customer. So I have to call Melissa in and she, Melissa has to come in here and log in as herself, 255 and the password and okay. Once I enter managerial privileges, <clears throat> I should be able to finalize this transaction for $10.61 using on account payment method. The transaction has been completed. There is no due change. So Mara can walk away with that water bottle without a payment and she will be invoiced later on. Uh, please note that the on account functionality and point of sale, in my opinion, is a bit lacking based on the discussion that we've seen in Yammer Group that uh, it will be improving uh, and on account functionality should be extended to uh, point of sale. The same functionality that exists on the call center side should be extended to the, on, uh, to the point of sale. So I think that's something that Microsoft is working on, but I think they've, great, they've made great progress in other areas and this is just the next step for them uh, to do. So hope you find that video interesting and useful and until the next time.